Hi, in this really short tutorial, we are going to use the Gordon Dividend Model to estimate a firm's cost of capital, um, otherwise known as the required rate of return that shareholders have to, for the firm's stock. And it turns out that um, the cost of capital, or the cost of equity, is going to be the discount rate that we are going to use when we apply, uh, when we discount equity or stock cash flows. So let's take an example. We've got a firm who has a share price of $45 per share, and they have an estimated growth rate of 4.5% per year, an estimated dividend growth rate. The last dividend they paid was $1.32. So we're going to use those inputs to figure out the cost of equity for this firm. So our cost of equity is going to be equal to the next dividend that we expect to receive, which is going to be equal to the last dividend paid multiplied by 1 plus the dividend growth rate. And we are going to divide that by the price we need to pay for a share of stock. I'm going to put that whole thing in parentheses. That basically represents the dividend yield. Um, the percentage of our share price that we receive as dividends. And then because we're expecting that shares are going to continue to grow, if you're an investor you might think of it as capital gains, we're going to add that growth rate. So when Excel is done thinking, we've got 7.65, we'll call it 7.57%. And there's your formula. You can find the formula for the cost of equity on page 195 in your text. And if there's anything else that you want help with, send me an email and let me know. Thanks a lot.